Itchy skin, red skin, do you wanna know why do I have hives all of a sudden? My name's Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're gonna look at that question, why do I have hives all of a sudden? I'm gonna explain what could be going on with your immune system, what some of the possible triggers could be, and more importantly, maybe for you, is what you can do about it. So if you like this type of content, you wanna see more videos like it, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like it. All right, let's look at why do I have hives all of a sudden? So I wanna help you understand why do I have hives all of a sudden? Now there's lots of reasons why people develop hives, but in general, it's going to be from the immune system. It's an increased activity in specific aspects of the immune system known as the mast cells. The uh, number of mast cells and the activity of those mast cells are increased. And mast cells are a particular type of white blood cell that produce a lot of histamine. And it's that histamine that creates the itching, the redness, the burning, the stinging, uh, similar to like if you get stung by a, a bee or, or a mosquito, uh, the body is reacting to the venom or the activity of that sting, and the mast cells are producing histamine that creates the itchiness and the burning there. So why are your cells doing this all of a sudden? Well, typically there's some kind of trigger that's doing this. It could be something going on with the medication that you recently tried. It could be something going on with your digestion, like a, a bug, a parasite, it could be a virus, it could be food sensitivities, or or food allergies. And keep in mind that these things can develop over time. You may have not started something new. It, it doesn't have to be new to your body to create this reaction. Sometimes it takes two exposures, five exposures, 10 exposures before this mast cell activity increases to the point where you're getting hives. So it's anything that engages these immune cells or your immune system in general, but specifically mast cells to protect the body from this foreign substance that it sees as potentially dangerous to your body. Finding the actual trigger can be tricky though, because sometimes it's not just one trigger, it's multiple triggers. And those triggers, even if you remove that, can stay in your body, a residual uh, immune activity can stay in your body for days to weeks later. And like I said, sometimes it's not one, one food thing or one environmental allergen, it's multiple things going on at the same time or multiple allergens. So you could have cat and dog, for instance, or you could have something going on outside and now developing an allergy to a cat or a dog. So sometimes it's the overlap of these things that creates the uh, systemic kind of reaction to where it's coming up on your skin as a hive. The problem really is that certain aspects of your immune system, white blood cell lines, are becoming overly active and the environment, like your body, is basically programming more of your white blood cells to turn into these mast cells. Now, there's lots of different types of mast cells, but one way to look at this is the differentiation between different types of T cells. They can differentiate into Th1 and Th2, and then there are several other types, but there's also these T regulatory cells, and they can basically regulate how much of the Th1 and how much of the Th2 is going on. When you have an environment, like your environment is inside your body that is overly allergenic, you're going to get a shift and start making more of those mast cells or T cells that are going to produce more of this histamine. And that histamine then recruits more of those same types of cells. So in some ways, if you don't have enough of these regulatory cells or T regulatory cells, you'll get sort of this overabundance of these mast cells and it becomes a feed forward process. So what do you do about this? Well, while we're investigating or trying to narrow down what the actual trigger is, you also want to make sure you're do, putting in some efforts to recalibrate how your immune system is responding to things. And so there's a few things you can do for this. Now, it really depends on the specific situation, but I'm going to give you a few ideas, like general basic things that you can do that does kind of help with that T regulatory cell, uh, the calibration of these mast cells. And that is vitamin D plays a strong role in uh, helping the body produce enough of these T regulatory cells. So if you don't have enough vitamin D, you want to make sure you get enough. Now there's different uh, ranges for vitamin D. Clearly, if you're over or under 20, you need more. Uh, above 50, maybe overdoing it. You really have to check with your doctor and see what they think and what the best option is. But vitamin D is really important. Another thing you can uh, take that's an herb and very safe uh, that also helps with this T regulator, or, or regulation and calibration of the immune system is astragalus. Now astragalus is an herb uh, typically 
you're going to use the root or the bark and it comes oftentimes in an alcohol extract because alcohol has a lot of histamine in it you probably don't want to use that type of uh, they call those tinctures it might be better to try and get an extract of the powder a powdered extract of astragalus so those are two things you can do if you're getting hives all of a sudden or stuck in this chronic loop of hives or uh, what seems to be a mast cell problem so i will put a link to some of the things that i would consider using in the description if you want to check those out they'll be there okay that should answer the question why do i have hives all of a sudden if it doesn't if you still have other questions about this please ask it in the comments section i'll do my best to answer that question and i may do a separate video on that topic if it seems like there's enough interest and it's something that i can feel like i can contribute so if you like the video please click on the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this thanks for watching we'll see you next time